What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Today, fellas, I want to talk to you about women's egos, especially here in the West and the problems you're going to run into if you, as a man, do not check that ego and destroy it. You see, most men and advertisers go out of their way to pander to women, boosting their egos up to stratospheric heights, making them think far more of themselves than they have any business. The simple red pill truth is, most women are at war with themselves. It's a war between their biological urges that go back to prehistoric times and their feminist programming. So whether you're trying to date here or whether you're going overseas to find a love connection, you need to be aware of female nature so that A, it doesn't take you for granted and B, it doesn't catch you off guard. Number one, women are constantly on a subconscious level searching for their superior. They want men who are taller than them. They want men whose ambition rivals or exceeds their own. They want men who are financially better off than they are because women are natural receivers of resources. Most modern women are not in the habit of sharing their resources. Not very often, more on that in a moment. But they want a man who is stronger than they are as well. This goes back to an ancient need of wanting to be protected from wild animals and from invading armies who would come to destroy that village, town, or empire. In the modern day, this has not changed. This is part of who we are, it's a part of who they are. And they want to know that you're strong enough to protect them in case anything goes bad. And things can go very bad, very quickly. Number two, you need to practice not needing female validation. See, the thing about most beautiful women is that they're constantly using their validation as a system of reward and punishment. When you do what they want you to do, they reward you with praise and or with their bodies and access to it. When you don't do what they want, don't buy them what they want, don't take them what they want, they take it away from you as a punishment. This is something that you as a man should be very wary of. Realize that your validation should come from within, from the things you accomplish on your own, independent of her. Number three, you need to stop validating her looks all the time. If you're dealing with a woman who's attractive, chances are she's been attractive her entire life. Or she's an ugly duckling who finally figured it out in her later teens. Either way, if she's a baddie, she's been getting attention from her classmates, her neighbors, guys on the internet, guys at the grocery store, you name it, guys have been flocking to her, telling her how beautiful she is. So you need to be the one guy in her life who stands out from the rest who isn't always gassing her head up. Number four, your purpose should be primary. Things that bring you fulfillment outside of her should come before her. Things like your faith, your spiritual walk. These are the things that ground us and keep us centered. Things like your family. Because in the event that her hypergamy causes her to seek out what she thinks is a better option, you need to have people in your corner who've always been in your corner, who are looking out for you, strengthening you on every leaning side to rebuild you and put back the shattered pieces. If you have a gym routine, it is not to be altered. She needs to understand that the gym comes first because your health is your wealth. She also needs to understand that if you are working or if you have a side business, you're trying to grow into a main business that can replace your current income. That is the fight that you have to fight. And anything or anyone that comes in the way of that is a liability, not an asset. A woman's ego is often unnecessarily huge because so many men she doesn't even want are constantly gassing her head up, telling her how beautiful and how amazing that she is. But the truth of the matter is, nothing is more insecure than an attractive woman. So, keep your attention and validation scarce and you'll keep it valuable. Number five, make her invest in you. Remember, gentlemen, women aren't used to sharing. So if they share their resources, she just might be a good prospect. This clip shows a great example of what I'm talking about. I went to the zoo with my homeboy. He forgot his wallet. I was like, oh, I got you. I paid to get in the zoo. I never knew the zoo was so expensive when you had for two people. Then, then when we get to the zoo, he get hungry. And I'm like, all right, I got it. Okay, I'm going to pay for the food too. But he a man. He, he eat more than me. So I'm looking at the menu. He ordered a, the big Whopper thing. I'm like, you don't want a salad? I paid for the taxi. I paid for us to do all that. Now, this is my homeboy. He paid me back. But at, by the end of it, I was like, damn, if I was a dude, I wouldn't be taking girls no more. Congratulations. Yeah. No. 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 No.
outrageous. What? And that's what we're saying. It was like $300. It was like, damn, to take somebody to the zoo? It's it's this much, but that's why I appreciate when somebody do stuff for me and I don't just play, like a lot of people go out with people and they Mm -hmm. play with them. I don't play with your feet. You should have asked for his booty afterwards. I should have, huh? Women have meat too. Money, energy, attention, and time. And if she's willing to share any and all of those with you, she's a prospect. Number six, do not argue with women. Women are the masters of emotional combat. Most men can easily remember the last argument they had with a woman. Very few men are able to tell you the last argument they started with a woman. They're the masters of what I call emotional jujitsu. Start the argument, escalate the argument, and then turn it around on you when you match their energy. Your goal, gentlemen, is to maintain your frame. Do not let a woman take you into her arena where she thrives, where she's the master. A woman who simply will not behave herself and will not commit to your program is a woman who needs to be excused from your life, escorted to the door, and thrown out to the curb. While you're at it, lock the door behind her and don't let her back in. Number seven. Don't get jealous. If you're dealing with a female who is very attractive, she's gonna get attention from everywhere, when you're with her and when you're not. And she's gonna use that attention because attention to a woman is what money is to you. It's currency. And it cannot be overstated that a woman is constantly trying to remind herself that she's still got it. Because every single day, she's got new competition for you and just in general. So, don't be the kind of guy that spazzes out. Now, I'm not saying to let some woman flat out disrespect you. Enforce your boundaries, for sure. But don't be the kind of guy who's constantly, you know, trying to check her phone, trying to do all this, trying to do all that, trying to fight people because he's looking at her too long. No, nah, bro. If she's bad, you know men are visual. They're going to stare. He put his hands on her, that's one thing. But looks, it's just part of living in a free society. Let other dudes admire your taste in women. I mean, they're going to anyway. You might as well enjoy it. Jealousy is a weapon women use for compliance, gentlemen. Do not let it be successful. Number eight, give her time to miss you, bro. You can't be in a woman's face all day, texting her all day, and expect her to have the same level of excitement that she has when she hasn't seen you in a couple of days. She hasn't spoken to you in a few hours. Give her a chance to miss you because that'll give her a chance to anticipate what it's going to feel like to have you next to her again, inside of her again, to smell your cologne. Number nine, Practice semen retention. Gentlemen, if you can keep your orgasm at bay for as long as possible, it will drive women crazy because they're used to guys who came before you busting off in like a minute, two minutes. If you're the kind of guy that can make her go the distance, you have earned your place in her personal hall of fame and she will never be able to talk trash to you sexually ever again. And at number 10, spend time with your mentors, people who are going to help you become more successful. They are invested in your outcome. Spend time with your friends. These are the people who were there before she was, and if things go bad, they're going to be there after she's gone. Make sure you don't cut these people off. Make sure that they are and continue to have steady access to you because they will be your support system when her emotional decision-making brings its predictable chaos into your life. Stay in the fight, gentlemen. Fight the impulse that exists naturally within you to boost her head up, gas her head up, It is we who are the prize in any relationship, gentlemen, of a romantic nature. We had to build the entire world. We had to build its infrastructure that keeps it going. All the technology. We had to fight through everything in our way. Mountains, rivers, forests. To make this world what it is. And we're the ones being called upon to bring the tangibles to a relationship. Do not let her ego run roughshod over you. Remind yourself. At the end of the day, she's on the clock. But you... As long as you're on your purpose, as long as you are on your grind, you continue to get better. Your mission today, fellas, chase greatness. That said, that's my time. Like the video, comment down below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the march to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. I believe we can do it. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Till next time.